The Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom Story We have a few clues about what's going on in The Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom. Ganon is back, and he's voiced by none other than the illustrious Matthew Mercer, or at least that's the theory. There's been no confirmation from Mercer or Nintendo, but that's definitely his voice. It's just a question of whether or not that's Ganon. The overarching plot features the Kingdom of Hyrule under threat once again by malevolent forces. Link and Zelda team up to put a stop to it. They had being Hyrule, presumably ripped to shreds, causing the mysterious islands floating in the vast skies above. Zelda says, Link, I'm not sure that you'll be able to stop him. I assume that may have something to do with the degraded Master Sword and Link's corrupted arm in the trailer. Any Legend of Zelda fan knows that if there's no Master Sword, there's no defeating Ganon. There's a lot of theories and mysteries that still revolve around what could potentially be happening in Tears of the Kingdom, but we do know one thing. A.G. Aonuma, the director of the Zelda series, had been teasing the next console Zelda game since Breath of the Wild released in 2017. According to Aonuma, the game began as potential DLC for Breath of the Wild, but the team had too many ideas to crank it up into DLC and they eventually wanted to free themselves from the constraint of limiting the potential of new gameplay elements to what was possible in the engine of Breath of the Wild, hence the creation of a new game. Aonuma had also mentioned that the sequel would be taking inspiration from Red Dead, Redemption 2, as that game had raised the bar for what could be achieved with large-scale open worlds in video gaming. Since the game's announcement in E3 2019 and the release of a brief trailer, not a lot of information has been leaked other than Nintendo's confirmation during the announcement of Hyrule Warriors, Age of Calamity on September 8, 2020, that they were still in the middle of development on the next game for the mainstream Zelda series. There have been hints, however, that the games would establish a more darker tone in its story. At E3 2021, it was revealed that the sequel would, in addition to the ground world, feature an area above ground with floating islands.